All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call and text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, man. Kevin Durant just recently came out and said he don't care about winning NBA titles. Russell Westbrook said he didn't care about winning NBA titles. And there's some other people that said the same thing, that they ain't chasing titles. But you can thank LeBron for this. LeBron is truly the leader, all right, of the NBA because he took winning and made it non-important in the NBA or not important in the NBA. And stat padding is what they're trying to do. Well, let's talk about it. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more NBA videos. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All my links there. If you want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal, description, best way to donate, share the video. But also, if you haven't subscribed, best way to donate, share the video. I mean, subscribe, excuse me. But at the same time, that's the difference. Everybody want to know why the NBA uh, competition went down and why the NBA players ain't like the NBA players of yesterday with Kobe and Michael Jordan and even Shaquille O'Neal and Hakeem Olajuwon and Tim Duncan and David Robinson and even Bill Russell and Jerry, uh, uh, excuse me, Jerry West. I mean, Elgin Baylor, some of these dudes were, you know, championship driven. You know, that's the difference. That's that's what, that, no, not just because LeBron brought the AAU, uh, you know, era into the NBA. It's about winning. It's about having a passion. But my thing is this, you know, excluding Russell Westbrook, a lot of these dudes didn't join forces to win a title. If the title, even they, they probably lying, if the title not important, why are we joining forces why are we joining forces to try to win one? You know what? And you, you get it from LeBron and KD. They join, They made super teams or joined super teams or made super teams to, you know, and won a championship, and it didn't feel good. Michael Jordan, they say, hey, Larry, or hey, Isaiah, or hey, Magic, you know, to go win the title, it went, it's sweeter when you, when you put the work in. It ain't sweet when you, you know, it's like putting the game on easy. It's sweeter when you put it on Hall of Fame on 2K and you and you and you win. You know, if you put it on easy, you don't you don't get fulfilled like that. You don't get the resistance. You don't get the pushback. You know, and, and that's and that's the and that's the issue. You know, these dudes didn't want easy rings and they, they didn't feel fulfilled. They didn't they didn't get the full the full experience. And it don't mean it's underdog, it's just years of work. Besides Magic and Bird, you know, they got into great situations, you know, and we needed those and we need them in that great situation because the NBA was on tape delay, the finals, and it wasn't no league pass, and the NBA didn't even come on regular TV. It wasn't that it was too raw for TV, just didn't have Magic and Bird or stars. But just all the work that Michael put in to get there, and, and, and when it boiled, it boiled. All the work Isaiah to put Isaiah to get there and win it. All the work that Dr. J, Dr. J did there and get it get there and win it. All the work that Akeem Olajuwon did, it did it. The San Antonio Spurs did it, you know, did it. It take a lot of work. You know, and now they're trying to diminish winning titles because, you know, either in your Westbrook chase, in Westbrook chase, I'm going to just get, you know, get triple doubles and I'm going to pad my stats. I don't care about winning. That's what he said. Well, you know, I want in life. And some players, people think everybody getting the NBA or NFL, a professional, NHL, MAB, got the drive to be great. No, some people are just content with being millionaires. And then on the other side of being content with being millionaires, they don't turn, they don't take their money and be a hundred million millionaire. You know what I'm saying? You got Vinny Johnson who didn't really make a lot of money, you know, compared to what we're saying now. He worth four hundred million dollars. He worth four hundred million dollars. So it ain't like it ain't like oh yeah, I'm gonna get a million. I'm gonna be a great businessman. I'm gonna flip it. Be like Jamal Mashburn. Be like Magic Johnson. You know, be like Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan. No. These get these dudes get there and think a million dollars is a lifetime worth of money. Made you know two hundred hundred million dollars hundred million dollars. A lot of people not gonna be able to live off that. You know with their lifestyles as far as all these houses in Miami, L.A., New York. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They think that's enough money. That's why Chris McAllister sitting in his parents' basement. You know old cornerback that won the title with the first Ravens of Ray Lewis. That's the reason why. You know. And these, these dudes don't have the will to be great no more. LeBron had changed the game where I don't want to win no more. I want to be the have, have the most points. You know what I'm saying? These dudes just care about MVP. And James Harden, another guy, he don't care about winning. 
you know what I'm saying? Until he went to Brooklyn, now he's trying to get an easy ring. He's not going to be vindicated at the end of the day. You know, I'd rather be Charles Barkley and don't win a ring and and Carl Malone and don't win a ring, you know what I'm saying, than sit here and artificially win a ring. And people try to make it seem like there's a difference between LeBron and, well, Miami wasn't this the year, but when LeBron got there, did they forget? Just like four four years before that, Miami Miami won a title? Did people forget that? You know, like I said before, and they brought Chris Bosh and all, oh, come on, get out of here. Had LeBron sat there and even got to the point and waited all those years and won one in Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? It would have been more for these dudes don't care about winning. One, the NBA is not even at its height. If anything, it's on a down slope. That's why Tom Brady can sit there and get so how many rings he got? Seven rings. Eight rings, how many he got? It feel vindicated, bro, because he earned it. NFL is different. You can put a super team together. Remember that super team? All-star team that the Eagles had it. They win it. In the NBA, there ain't no parity. And these dudes took no parity and put it to not even an ounce of parity. It's no parity left in the NFL. Or NBA, excuse me. When you say no, when there's no parity to begin with, and now we're going to join Super T's eye, you lost the old school basketball fans. And the new school basketball fans ain't got no money. Most of them. Most of them don't have no money. You know, you know, like I said before, the NBA was LeBron destroyed the NBA. He destroyed comp, comp- and it wasn't a lot of competition in the NBA. But he 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 took no parity and he made not that much parity and put absolutely no parity. You know, it ain't gonna come on. Let me just continue. Now t- players don't ain't even competitive no more. Let me go join forces and win the ring. When I see the best player, you know, in the league join forces, what you what KD supposed to do? And he got cheated in the finals versus LeBron the first time. What you expect? What you expect Zion gonna do? You know, all the pressure to win the title. What you What you expect KD to do? Russell tried to do it and he, he just couldn't win. You know, Giannis was a real motherfucker. Now he got to sit down there and look like and be stuck with Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. But nobody gonna remember Giannis being a real dude. They couldn't praise LeBron because he could he couldn't do it. People say he better than Mike. Why he couldn't do it? Why he couldn't wait like Mike can do it? You know, couldn't even make he made the finals and couldn't even win a game. <laughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? And they don't care about winning. And guess what? It shows in the product. When you see in, NBA, when in, in, in basketball now, they down by one, they try to shoot a three to win the game. It's the stupidest stuff ever. It's the same thing here. These dudes don't care about winning. Draymond... And he's talking like he the face in the NBA. The motherfucker can't even average 10 points a game. He do all this talking. Oh, he's soft today. Man, you are soft when you came into the league, bro. They don't care about winning no more. That's LeBron for. Can't blame Kevin Durant, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. LeBron the leader. And then you got Steph Curry. He wouldn't have won shit if KD didn't come over there. And Kyrie wasn't injured. And Kevin Love wasn't injured. This is why the product is garbage. And the NBA need to do something to, to increase to increase parity. And they never they had never saw that problem. Bill Russell had 11 fucking rings. Every NBA finals including the Celtics or the, or the Lakers in the 90s. I mean the 80s. The NBA, they sit here and they have superstar calls. The NBA don't want no parity. They looking for they artificially looking for ratings. And this is why they this is why they hitting rock bottom cuz people want to see Underdogs, people want to see parity. That's why the NFL will always reign supreme. And the NHL didn't have a lockout. If the NHL didn't have a lockout, they'd be right there. They'd be right there. That's why baseball used to be so. It was parity for the most part. You know, the Yankees made it a long time. You had parity. You know, and the NBA never tried to fix their parity issue. You know, and, and after Mike did what he did, Magic did what they did, and Mike did what he did, they always looking for the next Michael. They always looking for the next Michael, and it's over with. It's, it's a new generation of fans. You know, always looking for the next Michael. But these these dudes ain't driven to win no more. And that's why when they pop champagne and get the title, they, they, they don't feel fulfilled. They feel empty. They feel that they don't get the credit they deserve. You know, because they didn't have to put the hard work, they didn't go through the struggle like Michael. They ain't go through the struggle like Kobe did for a minute with Shaq. 
when you starving, when you starving, everything tastes a little bit better. When you eating like a fat king and you eating everything, you know, you ain't going to get that satisfaction. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to check out the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media links, subscription, want to make a donation, cash app, PayPal, description. Best for the donate, share the video, check out the NBA Talk playlist. Let me know what you think in the comment section one time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV. Peace.